Uh, this one comes from Kaylee in Kenwood. As mayor, how will you support and protect the LGBTQ plus and BIPOC folks in the city? Roger, we begin with you. Oh, great. Thanks, Kaylee, for that question. You know, one of the things that we need to do is be a welcoming community to all. And I know that not everybody out there wants to be as welcoming as maybe Kaylee is in her question. And I think we have the opportunity as leaders to represent that. LGBTQ, um, the BIPOC community, frankly right now both our Palestinian and our Jewish residents who are seeing tension going on in the Middle East, we have the opportunity to say that in our community all are welcome, even if people represent different parts of the community that maybe we're unfamiliar with or less comfortable with. And a lot of that is just being there and participating and giving voice to and giving the opportunity for an entire diversity of Duluthians uh, to serve. Serve on our commissions, serve on our boards, serve on our authority appointees, be visible in our community, be making those contributions. What I learned in the marriage equality fight was that when we got to know each other, we learned to love each other. Thank you, Roger. And Mayor Larson, uh, how would you support and protect the LGBTQ plus and BIPOC folks in our community? Well, this is a great question. Thank you for it. Uh, when I took office, we had an MEI, which is the, one of the ways a national designation of human rights. Uh, we had a score, well, I think it was like 52 or 56. We are now 100. Some of that is because we have done very specific policies. There are spaces in our public buildings where everybody gets to go to the bathroom. We have an NGBTQAI plus commission that we have formed, an African Heritage Commission, which we have formed, which was with the council. So I, I, I want to not take other people's credit, but we staff those, we invest in those. We have the Indigenous Commission. We trust the voices of community to lead us forward. There are also important policies that mayors have to lead on. It isn't just about talking. It's about taking action. It's about showing up when it counts, when it's private, when it's not on social media. It's about policies that don't allow for uh, discrimination of services based on your identity, on your pronouns, on how you uh, choose to uh, represent yourself. It's about specific policy action too. Mayor Larson, thank you. Uh, Roger, you have 30 seconds to respond. Sure, um, thank you. I just think this is a great opportunity for both of us to say to everyone listening, all are welcome in our community. Thank you so much, Roger. Our next question after Duluth voters last year.